this is a topic I've covered before on my channel. But I did it when I didn't have much information to debunk this myth. I have covered it in my response to Force Wave as well when I did have more information. But I wanted to condense many of my points from the video into smaller videos just so people can more easily digest what I've said. And also so certain people can no longer have the right to complain about the video length as an argument against me, you know, as well as expand on or address things I missed out on. A narrative the anti-expanded universe crowd loves to spread, including Force Wave 1139 in his evidence cherry-picking poorly written article, or Logan Veracruz in a taken out of context video he posted, is that George Lucas hated Mara Jade. In the context of Force Wave doing this, he brought it up in a discussion that had nothing to do with the topic at hand he was presenting. And this was the topic of the article he wrote. His main argument I debunked, and that being that the EU was never can at all because of George Lucas said so. Even though I demonstrated that Lucas's opinion on the expanded universe was not consistent, and he contradicted himself multiple times, and therefore is not a reliable witness on what Star Wars canon was and was not prior to 2014. I'll leave a link in the description to the short video and my main Force Wave video for those who are interested in more information. But anyways, the topic of whether or not George hated or liked a certain character had absolutely nothing to do with whether or not he considered something canon in the Star Wars universe. All it was, was going off on a random tangent, and it was a poor, desperate attempt to do anything possible to try and discredit the Star Wars Expanded Universe. The mark of a bad writer. So where does this narrative that George Lucas supposedly hated the character of Mara Jade come from in the first place? The first piece of evidence the Expanded Universe hating crowd loved to use to prove the claim that George Lucas hated Mara Jade is in a skit George Lucas did with the people who worked on Robot Chicken. And it's actually quite a funny scene. Uh, as the creator of uh, Mara Jade, do you- <laughs> Wait! I am not the creator of Mara Jade. And I want you to get out of this office right now. I'm sorry, Zed. No it's, way. You brought no it on way. Your, you brought it on yourself. I don't want you here. I'm so Out. sorry, George. I didn't think it would go like this. Out. Zed, I got your voucher. <laughs> Out! There. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. We'll have him, like, burned and we'll I don't even know who that guy is. So I sit there all day long. The biggest issue with the people who hate on the expanded universe that like to use this as evidence of George hating Mara Jade is they fail to understand that this scene was just an acting skit. It was never meant to be a literal or serious reaction from George Lucas. Thus is not evidence of Lucas hating on the character of Mara Jade. And like I've said, George Lucas is acting in this scene is very well done and hilarious, but not at all serious hard evidence. The second piece of evidence people like to use, oh, and I actually forgot to read the specifics of the quote, and what was said in this quote Force Wave brought up in my main Force Wave video, and looking back in hindsight, I should have examined it in further detail, but here I can correct that mistake. This quote uses as evidence that Force Wave brought up comes from the late Star Wars author J.W. Rinsler, who in an interview said the following about George's opinion on Mara Jade. They went out and got some sort of person who looked like she had stepped out of a Cosmopolitan magazine to be the model for Mara, and he just thought the whole thing was so not Star Wars and not his vision of Star Wars. Let's examine what Rinsler said here in detail. Rinsler is specifically talking about the model here that was hired to do the Mara Jade shots for the cover of Star Wars Insider issue number 47, Shannon McRandall. If you read between the lines, Rinsler is referring to how he did not like Shannon McRandall as Mara Jade and didn't think using someone who looked like some cosmopolitan model was very Star Wars to him. 
Not specifically hating on the character of Mara Jade herself. Context, 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 people. And even if, even if we did take this quote and literally interpret it as evidence that George Lucas hated Mara Jade, there is evidence from Star Wars author Michael A. Stockpole that came out much more recently than the Jay Rinsler quote that contradicts and conflicts with this. In an interview with Star Wars Theory, Stackpole confirms that George Lucas Harry hating Mara Jade was just a false rumor that got spread through fandom. Long story short, I've always struggled with the overall rumor that George Lucas hates Mara Jade. Do, do you know where, where that got started? Is there is there factual data behind that? What what What's going on with that? Is it true? I, I think that's just a rumor that has kind of crawled up through fandom for years and years and years. Uh, I know that I know that uh, Tim met uh, George Lucas. They had a sit down conversation before the first book was done. I know mm -hmm. that that as with any of the novels, everything is cleared through uh, Lucasfilm. And right. and and a hundred percent for anything as major as a love interest being developed for Luke. Um, that's a decision that George would have given a yes or no on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so I mean, I, I, I Tim and I have talked about, and I've listened to Tim talk about the conversation that he had with George. I don't recall Mara Jade ever having been been brought up specifically, but then again, you know, Tim, I I, I don't have a readout of the uh, uh, you know of that of that conversation, um, but it's also. Um, especially in the early, early days of the internet where you had message boards and people would leave theories and they would say this and that. There were things that were treated as fact um, by someone's supposition uh, that, that just flat out weren't true. In addition to this, Dak Paul repeated this same point on his Twitter when he stated the following. I never did talk to him, so I don't know. But what I can say is that George did approve Mara and Luke Mary. This I have from Tim, and in, and in my experience, if anything was going to happen to any of his characters, George signed off. These two quotes from Michael A. Stackpole also contradict the narrative that he supposedly did not think Luke should marry because of the rule not allowing Jedi to do so from the prequels and the old Jedi Order. If George never wanted it, it would have never happened in the first place at all in the expanded universe. And George would have vetoed no on Luke and Mara Jade's marriage. Yoda nor Obi-Wan taught Luke that he should not have attachments or marry in the original trilogy. Plus, Luke abolishing the rule and rebuilding the Jedi Order actually makes sense. Luke was the last active, true Jedi, and the point of him starting the order from scratch was to fix the mistakes of the old order and improve things. Anakin fell to the dark side because of the old Jedi Order's rule. We can see in the original trilogy that Luke's attachment to his friends, families, and allies gave him the strength and courage he needed to fight and stand up together against the Empire and the Sith. Attachment itself was not the problem. Obsession was. So it makes complete sense for this rule to not exist at all when the new Jedi Order is created by Luke Skywalker. Shannon McRandall herself has also spoken in an interview and also confirmed that Lucas did approve of her being Mara Jade, which casts more doubt about Rinsler's claim about him not liking Shannon McRandall as Mara. Shannon stated the following, They got approval from George Lucas to put Mara in a card game. They sent photos of me to Lucas, who gave the final approval. Since Starlog quote humpers such as Force Wave love using the Starlog quote from 2005 so much, I've got a quote from an earlier issue of Starlog magazine where Lucas appears to be totally open about the idea of Luke having a love interest and hints at the idea of it may happen. While it is true that George Lucas is inconsistent, changing his mind and contradicts himself all the time. I just wanted to bring this evidence up. This quote is from Starlog Magazine issue number 127. George Lucas is asked, Why didn't you give Luke a girl? 
And George responds back, You haven't seen the last three yet. While it is not outright said, it can be inferred Lucas is referring to potential story sequels of some sort, giving Luke a love interest. So does George Lucas really hate Mara Jade? While we have no direct first-hand proof right from George's mouth, it's heavily inferred here that he did not like the model thing, and didn't think using a model to represent a character was very Star Wars. But it doesn't automatically mean he hates the character of Mara herself. Even then, Shannon McRandall saying Lucas di directly approved of her being Mara makes the claim dubious. I also strongly believe Stackpole's confirmation disproved this myth as well. Force Wave and other people like Mr. Red 88 or Logan would just say, It's just Stackpole, Shannon McRandall's opinion, it's secondhand sources. <laughs> well, the same could be said and also apply to cherry picking the Jay Rinsler quote and using it as evidence, which would also count as a secondhand source or just his opinion according to the logic and mindset of these expanded universe haters. You know, it just proves all these people who like to bash and discredit the EU just pick and choose what evidence to use. Classic cherry picking at its finest in attempt to try and discredit the expanded universe and push their narrative. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my debunking of the myth and fandom of George Lucas hating Mara Jade.